The Olympic Games continue in Pyeongchang. While many say that now is the time to ease decades-long tensions on the Korean Peninsula, controversy has erupted over North Korea's heavy and some say disruptive presence at the Games. Reporting on that story from Pyeongchang is Talking Points reporter Rebecca Castor. As the women's ice hockey tournament is underway at the 2018 Winter Games, eyes are on Korea's United Olympic squad. But feelings about the team are divided. Some believe a unified team is exactly what the two countries need as the two are technically still at war. Although fighting between the countries ended in 1953, no peace treaty was signed. Others completely disagree with the unified team. Large protests broke out in Seoul last week as many South Koreans are angry with North Korea's large presence at the Games. Instead of the Pyeongchang Games, protesters say it's become the Pyongyang Olympics. Pyongyang is the capital and largest city in North Korea. Besides the unified women's hockey team, North Korea's presence was largely felt at opening ceremonies as a representative from North and South Korea carried the Olympic torch together up the ski jump before passing it to South Korean figure skater Yuna Kim. And with Kim Jong-un's sister and personal cheering squad also in Pyeongchang, North Korea is hard to miss. Kim Jong-un has since invited the South Korean president to visit him in the capital since his sister's arrival in the country. This will be the first meeting between North and South Korea in a decade. Reporting from Pyeongchang, I'm Rebecca Castor, Citrus TV News.